If you're healthy, 18 or older, and not taking any medication, PRISM Clinical Research has upcoming studies that provide financial compensation ranging from $500 to $3,000 for study participation time. With Glenn Perkins, Tom Hanneman back on a Twins final pitch presented by PRISM Research following the Twins 14-4 loss to the Mets who sweep the series, the two-game series, and hand the Twins their third loss for the first time this season. So now Minnesota has to turn it around and turn it around quickly as Oakland comes to town for a four-game series followed by the Yankees. Yeah, and that's two teams that are in the playoff hunt right now. The Yankees leading the East. The A's are in a wild-card spot, slowly catching up to the Astros, playing really good baseball. Both of those teams are. So that's uh, kind of their challenge now is how do we do against those two teams in these series? We're at home. That's an advantage for the Minnesota Twins, or it should be. So they've got to they've got to get refocused, move on from this Mets series, kind of the the mishaps that happen, and and go go into an Oakland series and a, and a Yankees series where these are teams that you're probably going to see in October. So you want to test yourself right now. Let's see how we do there, and then that's going to give them an idea of an barometer kind of, of where they're at uh, moving forward in this season. Today was a one-run game until the late innings when the Mets broke it open. En route to a 14-4 victory, Twins manager Rocco Baldelli addressed the Twins afternoon. This is definitely not the best that, that we've played over the course of the, uh, the season, but it's going to happen. And there were probably a few breaks. We could probably look at the last three games and find several times over those, those three days where if something uh, goes our way or a ball finds a, finds a hole that was hit hard or something like that, I think we're in a whole different boat. But like I say a lot, over the course of 162 games, you're going to run into those little, uh, those little holes and you're going you're to run into some, some dead ends and have some tough times. But it doesn't mean that anything's changed. I think our guys are uh, still the same guys they were um, you know, last series and they were last month. It's the, it's the same group that's been doing a great job and um, we'll be back at it tomorrow. Back at it tomorrow against the Oakland A's, the first of four, the series probables. Minnesota going with Gibson, Odorizzi, Barrios, and Michael Pineda in the Sunday afternoon matinee. And tomorrow, Kyle Gibson against Mike Fires. Uh, two pitchers that went at it in Oakland. Fires a winner, no decision for Kyle, but Fires 9-3 and three this season. He's won five straight. Yeah, and he's a guy, big overhand curveball, tall guy, creates a good down angle on his pitches, has a couple no-hitters on his resume. He can definitely get the job done. And again, these A's, they're a good team. They play good defense. They've got a really good left side in Chapman and, and uh, in Marcus Simeon. So those are guys, the kind of core of their team, the core of their defense, their lineup. Um, and they, they can pitch and they can hit too. So it's a tough series. There's a reason that the A's are catching up to the Astros, have a better run differential, all those things. They're playing as good as anybody right now. It's a good time to test the Twins. Hope you can join us tomorrow night at 6.30 for Twins Live ahead of the series opener with Oakland. Thanks for watching this Twins final pitch presented by Prism Research.